After a late night arrival to camp, we treat ourselves to a lazy morning with pancakes, bacon, and of course, copious amounts of coffee. We spent a few hours hanging around in our hammocks and watching the breeze and the aspen trees before the call of the trail got the better of us and we saddled up again. The next leg of our journey would be along our old friend, the Enchanted Rockies Trail. It was quite sentimental to visit the route we had carefully researched, traveled, and shared several years before with a much younger Caroline and a very different perspective on life. It's funny how sights and smells can take you back to another place in time with memories that you would have otherwise never recalled. Today was one of those days, and this was one of those places. Hi, cute cows. Those are some pretty cows. Hi, look at that sniffing. Oh yeah, you took that horn. No, I been a shy. This is just awesome. It's great views. This is just, it's as good as I remember it. This is, I think it's like segment two or three of the Enchanted Rockies Trail. And it's just better than I remember it. These views are just crazy. 
see for miles and miles and miles. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? How do you like this land cruiser? A lot. A lot? Yeah. What's its name? Percy. Percy? Mm -hmm. It's a great name. Last time we came to the section trail, Caroline was three years old, our forerunner was still in the early stages of the upgrade process, and we had barely even begun to share our stories on YouTube. To think of how far we've come in just a few years was humbling and amazing. We had been truly blessed to see the things that we had gotten to see. But sadly enough, it was also frustrating to think about where we were now and the setbacks with the RV debacle and ensuing lawsuit. While on the surface, I was enjoying this weekend adventure. Deep down, I was also extremely stressed and totally exhausted from working so many hours to keep the channel alive while also working another full-time job to pay for the unexpected expenses. And I have to admit that there were times after 18 hours of work, three hours of sleep, and yet another alarm at 2.30 a.m. telling me it was time to get up and do it all over again, that I wondered if it was all worth it. I wondered how long I could keep up this pace. I wondered if it had all been a big mistake, and if we should even continue this story or go back to doing something else. And just as I was mulling over these depressing thoughts, my answer came around a bend in the trail. How's it going? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How excited am I today? That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I'm with my son. How you doing? We're traveling from Georgia. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, we went to Galveston for a week and now we're doing the uh, the trail. Sweet. The Rockies Trail. Sweet. Oh, That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. What was your name again? JP. JP. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm one of your patrons. Awesome. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate I love that. what y'all do. I really appreciate it. Hey, yeah. we really appreciate cool. your support. Awesome. Here. That's great. That's great. And I like your choice of uh, <laughs> wheels too. And I was like, ooh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. right. Right, well, I'll let you all go on your merry way. All right. Yeah. Hey, yeah, sure. Y'all have fun. Y'all take care. Take care. Nice Bye. to meet y'all. Safe travels. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> That's probably the best howdy I've ever had. One of our patches. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the fact that he's doing the Enchanted Rockies Trail. I know. Like, for real. That is so awesome, you guys. Man, just, I don't know what to say. Did that just make your day? It does. Good. <laughs> are you crying? Yes, you are. Guys, I'm camera. I've got Kevin and to cry. Listen, he didn't cry on her wedding day or the day she was born. I got her on camera. It's the New Mexico dust. Oh. <clears throat> Did you forget to, to take your clear tint today? Uh, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> no, really, guys. It's no, awesome. you, that is you're awesome. just kidding, Dad. Just when I felt like I was at the end of my rope, I literally came face to face with one of the best reminders of why we do what we do. Inspire people to take the road less traveled, escape the distractions of a busy world, and focus on what matters most in life. Thank you for your stories of how your perspectives and priorities have been changed by a bit of inspiration. This is what motivates us to keep on sharing our story. Thank you for making it worth the struggle and the effort. 
I truly mean that. And just for the record, that wasn't New Mexico dust in my eyes. Well, good morning guys. We are in Santa Fe National Forest, just just west of Pecos, New Mexico. We tried to get an early start this morning. Still not too bad of an early start, but it was cold. It was so cold last night, and I think we're actually at the lowest elevation that we've been at thus far. And I don't know if it's just the weather that's moved in, or the humidity, or what, but my goodness, it's a bit chilly. We're actually going to run just a bit more of the Enchanted Rockies Trail today on the way south. This is the new section that will hopefully bypass one of the closures that we identified probably about two or three months ago. And uh, so hopefully this will help out quite a few people, keep them on, on dirt a little bit more instead of having to take highways and stuff around this section because it is absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. So let's go grab some quick breakfast, get camped. Get camped, get decamped, break camp, and get on the trail one last time. Let's go. So another piece of gear that I've been in love with for about five years now are these Ston tire deflators. You've seen them multiple times in our videos. Some people complain about them not holding their calibration, but I have yet to have to reset any of mine. So the trick I think is use some channel locks or some pliers once you get it set to really lock that lock ring in place so that it doesn't move. The other thing is keep them clean. A small piece of dirt or dust from dropping it can screw up the calibration really easy, so take care of it.
Not too far into our search for an alternate route around a closed section of the Enchanted Rockies Trail, we ran into the first of several downed trees we would encounter along our southbound route. While there was a path around the tree that other vehicles had begun to use, we had the tools and the team to clear the trail and minimize impact to the surrounding terrain. This should always be your first goal when you find an obstacle on the trail. With us all working together, we can help keep our trails accessible for those who come behind. So what's the problem? Well, the Smitty Belt's been a good winch, functionally speaking, but the uh, wireless controller keeps losing its link. It'll work 50% of the time. So I'm just gonna have to, luckily it has the hard wire. I'm just gonna have to plug it in to get it to run. Honestly, I'm just making excuses because the longer I take, the more he gets to saw. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel like I'm coming out on the bad end of this whole deal.
inside. Yeah. Three hours into our tedious drive south, we came across a wash that was just a bit more than we wanted to tackle without some serious work to the trail. Backtracking would take us a combined six hours to go around this obstacle, and we were here to confirm a new option for travelers. So we quickly decided to invest the effort in refilling the damaged portion of the trail. Also, whenever rocks are involved, it's a wise idea to wear gloves due to the plentiful scorpions and cactus in the desert. Oh yeah, and remember to keep your hands out of the rock pile while it's actively being built. Speaking from experience, this will help mitigate unexpected swelling. <laughs> like and subscribe. Our chilly start to the day had quickly reached into the 90s as we dropped thousands of feet in altitude towards the valley floor. Hydration is key here. This is a lot of work. It's a bit warm too. Don't get caught up in the recovery or the extraction or the rebuild. Take a break, have some water. Stay cool and rest before you actually attempt it. That way you're ready. Four wheels are tough enough in these situations. Add another set to the mix, and it's a whole new set of angles to work with. We actually enjoy the unique challenge a trailer can occasionally bring to the mix, and this is one of those times. The key here was finding the right line to ensure the trailer wheels would track along this section of rebuilt trail, and not travel too high up the hill, or roll too far into the ditch. Having additional spotters in these situations makes a huge difference. Don't rush. Take your time and look at all the options. If you don't feel confident, or you have limited to no support, turn around. Egos can be very dangerous and expensive, so leave them at home. All right, you got about a foot. Although it might not be apparent in this video, we'd actually aired up the downhill side tire to 40 PSI, and aired down the uphill side to about 8 PSI to give us a bit more advantage, because it's only overkill until it isn't, right? I think so. She just stays in it now? Yeah. I mean, don't pour it. Yeah, and we're aired up right there. I'll tell you what we'll do. You and I will get on that side. Can't wait. The nose jump. Yeah. All right, can you uh, just let her track with what she has? If that starts to cave, just let us know. We're not going to have much of a choice. We may just have to finish. Not sponsored, but give me a call. I love this stuff. Uh, well, I won't say that the trail is fixed, but it's passable. If you come back through here, be a peach, contribute a few rocks. With all of us working together, we can keep this thing built up. All right, 
on the trail. Let's go. With the new Enchanted Rockies Trail route confirmed, we made our way along the final few miles of forest and county roads with a sense of accomplishment and excitement, knowing that other travelers now have a way through Santa Fe National Forest. It had been an amazing weekend, and though we were soaked in sweat and tired from the efforts, we were energized by the interactions we experienced and challenges we overcame with our friends. New Mexico is truly a land of enchantment for those willing to explore its vast wilderness. We couldn't wait to return for our next weekend warrior adventure to see what new secrets she held. What did you think about our trip? I loved it. Yeah? It was cold. Was it? I liked the view. Uh huh. What, where was your favorite view? Rainbows. All of it. All of it. Yeah. But most of my favorite was the rainbow. Oh, those those were I was incredible. just saying that. Yeah. What about you, Jojo? What was your favorite part? The rainbow. Yeah. My favorite was going in the woods. Ooh, that's one of my, my favorites favorite. too. Did you guys see any animals? Yeah, no. those. If I was Jojo saw if I was those animal. swifts or coyotes, I can run with them. Uh, yesterday when we were going down the trail, um, there was like this big um ant pile, and I love um throwing rocks in it and seeing them get irritated. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite parts. What was the squirrel doing? That squirrel's eating a turd. <laughs> A cow alley turd. We don't know. We don't know what kind of poop, but seriously, he was taking that to pound town. What was your favorite meal of the trip? Bacon, candy, marshmallows, oh. the chocolate eggs. Have you guys enjoyed traveling with each other? Yeah. Yep. Yes. You want to do it again? Yes. All right. Yes. Let's yes. do it. <laughs> well, thanks for the interview, girls. Okay, you're welcome. Down. Let's let's get on the trail. Yeah. Yay! Let's, let's go. do it. So I don't know if you guys recognize this spot or not, but this is where we did the last scene of the Enchanted Rockies Trail. When we drove by in the Forerunner and then there was the sunset dipping below these little hills that are coming up over here. It's pretty cool to be back. Not gonna lie. Oh, and by the way, we found a bypass for the blocked portion of the Enchanted Rockies Trail. I will say though, it's a bit of a challenge. So, if you take it, be ready. <sighs> all right, let's get home, get everything all downloaded and prepped, get some editing going, all right? Thanks for riding along. We'll see you on the next one. Safe travels. If you like this video, do us a huge favor and share it on your Facebook, Instagram, or even email it to a friend who you think could use a bit of adventure in their life. Until next time, safe travels.